Hey everyone, today I want to discuss something important, especially for those of us in our 40s. It's all about weight loss, wellness, and managing the stigmas that sometimes come with it. We all want to feel our best, but sometimes that journey isn't as simple as hitting the gym or eating better. Let me share a bit of my own experience with you. So a little while ago, I posted about my weight loss progress on social media. I went from 236 pounds to 225 pounds in just three months. How did I do it? A mix of spin classes, jump ropes, speed walking, and yes, I'm using Ozempic under my doctor's supervision. But here's the thing. I noticed that the mention of Ozempic caught people's attention, not necessarily in a good way. One comment stood out to me and it went like this. Congrats, but be careful. A friend of mine ended up in the hospital with some serious side effects. I get the concern, but let's break this down a little. The truth is, for many years, diabetics have used insulin and medications like Ozempic to manage their health. And for me, this was a medically necessary decision. My doctor recommended it after reviewing my blood work. And trust me, my insurance wouldn't have paid for it or approved it if it wasn't needed. Here's where things get interesting. Ozempic and other meds like it have recently been in the spotlight because they're being used for weight loss. But with that comes stigma. There are two types of stigma, societal, where people judge or have negative stereotypes, and internal, where we believe or start believing those negative ideas about ourselves. Neither is helpful. But here's the deal. Weight loss isn't a one-size-fits-all. We're all different, and so are our needs. What's important is working with your healthcare provider to find out what works best for you. For me, it's not just about taking medication. It's about staying active too. I love spin classes, jumping rope, and speed walking. These aren't just fun. They're super effective ways to get in shape, especially as we get older. And did you know, studies have shown that regular exercise can significantly improve physical and mental health in women in their 40s and beyond. So it's all about balance. I want to say this, don't let stigma stop you from doing what's best for you and what's right for your body. Whether it's using medication, trying new workouts, or focusing on nutrition, it's all about finding what works for you, not what works for someone else, and certainly not what others think you should do. And remember, work with your doctor to understand any treatments, risks, and benefits. It's so important to have these open conversations with professionals. You deserve to feel good and be proud of your progress, regardless of your path. So keep pushing forward. Whether you're walking, spinning, jumping rope, or using medications like Ozempic, your journey is yours and no one else's. Let's keep supporting each other, lifting each other up, and making wellness in our 40s a beautiful, positive experience. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, your health is personal and you are in control. Stay awesome, y'all. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section. Peace out.